Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll teach you guys how to make corset pattern with a cage side peplum. You can see the top. I want you to go on to my channel to watch how to make, how to draft a basic bodies because if you know how to draft that basic bodies, you are going to know how I drafted this. Now, I want you to go there and watch. Now, in this story, I'll just go straight to the point. I'm doing the line of working on my boss line, boss point, under boss waist, and my top length. You can see, guys, just a quick tutorial but meaningful. Now, the corset I will be teaching you guys today will be instead of me pivoting my table round i know that is not easy for you guys i know that some guys complain that pivoting that table is so hard now i'll just teach you how to go straight to the point without pivoting your table now you can see the back i'm working on so i'll just go straight to the point at my shoulder i divided my shoulder into two you can see what i did now i just make that straight line towards it for my boss line i drew the line to my shoulder now guys we are going to check what we have as my boss point to my under boss i have three remember in my previous video we are going to pivot it theory round but i won't do that i'll just create this a small arc at the hub yes guys i know you'll be convinced that we're going to pivot any tape no 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 it's just a small hack just a minor hack i'll just create that as my point i place my tape as my boss point then i create the hack you can see the hack just one more inches by both sides now guys after that we are going to create a dart remember i said if you watch my video on basic body you are going to understand the dart that i created here so my boss point is eight i divided to do which is four at that four line then i came out by one more inches you can see what i did at the line i came out by one more inches you can see making two now then i'll go to my top left instead of me slanting it we are going to go straight down now came out by one more inches also remember my nipple nipple to nipple measurement is eight i divide that into four eight or two rather which is four then i came out by half, half inches at both sides that's what i did now guys you can see what i have now we have created the dart now what we are going to do now we are going to connect that from your under boss to your boss point with the help of your free hand or your french cuff now we are going to connect it to my boss point now guys you can see what i have that is so easy because i later found out that it's so hard they complain on my channel that pivoting that tape is so hard that's why i create this fast thing so now we are going to trace that out really now guys make sure you trace it out just to your boss point you can see that it's even easy now when starting now guys after that make sure ensure that you took a dart at that on that ball so that it will be tightened for that so what we are going to do now is that we are going to create start creating the corset rather now i'm going to take half inches towards my center front you can see what i did the one inches towards my side part just to create that because we have took that under the bust now we're going to took that above the bust yes so one inch is toward my side part and after you toward my center point, then I'm going to connect it to your boss point like this. Now guys, you can see what we have. Even without pivoting your tape rule, your corset will be made. Now check what you have. Make sure that they are equal not to be shortened by fabric. I have 33 inches when I measure it at both sides. Now I'm free to go. Now just trace it out like this. I want to trace so that you guys can see it clearly now guys you can see what i have that's just a small hack half inches then one inches to my side then half inches at the at the center front now guys we are going to create the neck you can say to leave your neck to your boss line or make it straight or slam that depends on you maybe you want it sweet as neck but for me i'll just come to my boss line you can see what i did i don't want that clarity to be that much so i'm going to connect it like this like creating a sweet art neck. you can easily check the photo and see it there now guys at my boss point i'll just come down to at my boss line right there so connect the line to your boss point like i did then just create a shape to dye your under boss i connect it to my under boss so you can see that the side part the corset of that part is already made like this now we have, you can see you can realize that the side boot is more than the front boobs no we are going to come you, rather you can come out by half inches then go down to your boss point you can see what i did i came out by half inches as my ammo line like this then I came down to my boss point. What I did for the center part, I came down to my boss point. 
now guys we're going to connect it like this you can see that we have created more room so that our boobs can rest because that side is some find it difficult that is usually tight so i've created more room that your boobs can rest don't forget to like this video now guys you can see that we have created this it's so simple it's so quick so make sure to go to my channel and learn how to make basic bodies so that it can be easy for you to create this corset now guys you can see what i did so at your neck part you can leave it like that or you come down lower that is your wish now let's go for our circumference my boss is nine inches which is 36 then make sure to add the 1.5 inches we're going to cut out so i added it as my dad two inches at my waist two inches all the dots we are going to cut out make sure to add them back now guys you can see that i just find this easy i'm not even finding it difficult pivoting my tape through round now guys you can see what i did so it's good remember at my neck at my shoulder i divide my shoulder into two after removing my neck make sure you remove your neck width and your neck depth now let's name our corset this part one and two so that just to indicate it while joining it i'm going to put some arrow that now this is the part we are going to join make sure to indicate that ensure you indicate this now guys you can see what i did after removing my neck i just divide my shoulder into two and that i drew that line to my boss point now guys let's cut it out i want you guys to watch this video more watch it again so that it will be easy for you now guys you can see what i have so at that that i'm going to call the dart out like this yes now our corset is you can see that you can see let me just write it cut on fold because i didn't fold my paper into two but while cutting it on fabric i'm going to fold it into two so you can see what we have guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel now let's go to the back part i'll just go straight to the point i've marked my zipper allowance you can see my zipper allowance there i've marked it that's my zipper allowance one inches so what I'll, I'll just go straight to the point i've placed the, my my front part i've solid tape it down you can see how i tape it i join it like joining it now we are going to trace this instead of you start bringing another measurement just place your front place it on your back part then just trace it out like i did you can see me doing now guys so what i have now so i just want my my neck that is the back part that's the middle of my back to be that slant i came down by sort of like one inches you can go down below that is up to you as you want your back to be lower i just lower it a little bit like by one inches now i want to after that i mark my waistline because i want to sort of like avoid the bulging at the zipper allowance edge so i'll just come down so i'll come out by half inches because i don't want that budging i want you guys to go to my channel and watch how to make how to avoid budging at the zipper allowance edge so i came out by half inch i'm going to join that to my waist like this then join down to your top length like like you see me doing now guys i'm going to cut that out because that is the half inches that will let your zip to be budging now I came out back so i make sure to add it back just to trace it out while joining it now guys you can see what i have that is so quick it's so easy to do now that zipper budging i've been making that in my previous video i want you to watch how to avoid budging at the back remember i've placed my front on this you can see that it's quick instead of you start making another circumference or the back part i just place my front part on it ensure you tape it down now guys you can see what i have you can see it's so super quick now guys after that remember at that foot we have this cage now i want to create that cage side so you can easily use your free hand to create the cage side where your peplum will stay or use your french cuff so i'm going to use my free hand to create that side cage now you can see i came out by one inches at my top length that just use my hand to trace that out you can see it's so easy it's not it's not it's not that hard now guys you can see what i have it's so super it's so quick then this is my back part then my front part like this so don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click on the notification bell to notify whenever i post a new video thanks see you in my next video